What's up guys? The clip you're about to watch is taken from my full album reaction that is exclusive to Patreon. So if you'd like to support the channel and become an MVB, there's a link below. Okay, the Lucid Dream featuring Jess Nix from Mortality Rate. I've never checked out Mortality Rate, so I have no idea what how her feature is going to be. Anyway, three, two, one. Oh shit. Sneaky with the breakdowns. Now is it over? <laughs> so, first off, Jess Nick's vocals there were really good. I really like that feature. That's the best feature so far. Actually, Aaron Hurd's were was really good too, but I like uh, this feature way more than Courtney LaPlante's because 
it really like um, kind of gave a nice contrast to the lead vocalist uh, and his uh, harsh vocals. Sorry, I don't know the band members' names here, but I really liked how the nice contrast here and all the change ups in rhythms and some of the chuggy like riffs were pretty badass and like it was just those fat palm muted like open notes like boom boom like it was just doomy and heavy and like this album so far like i know they released their stuff in eps and i'm not sure why they did that if you guys could let me know why they did that that'd be awesome because i'm interested in the marketing reasons for that but i don't know if they were trying to do like certain songs or certain little eps being the doomy heavy side and other ones were more like hardcore uh but this song felt like it had a good mix of both of those so it was still like very heavy and doomy but had enough like momentum at certain moments to keep keep me interested especially some of the guitar riffs i liked uh, the riff i think in this first verse like and speaking of like the verse and all that like the structure also they're toying around with structure too i'm not too sure like what to expect and like i think in the three minute mark i thought the song was going to end but nope it gave me like a sneaky breakdown and then near the end of the song i thought it was going to end too but it just brought down like a more beat down uh version of that breakdown so like that song had some surprising elements had some cool vocals from the guest vocalist just there i thought that song was was a banger but yeah anyway let's go on to the next track on the album (laughs) 